Hey everybody, Asher here, and it's time for Fiona to get up and get going. It is Stardew Valley Day, and we're going to look at the weather report. Is there rain tomorrow? No, it's going to be beautiful and sunny yet again, so no more watering can upgrade, and we're almost a third of the way through, uh, actually we are in fact, about a third of the way through summer. So, Wellwix Oracle, and you'll have a little bit of extra luck, so this may be another good spelunking day living off the land and let's talk corn corn grows during two seasons so corn lives on you can grow both summer fall now plant some corn we already did if you don't plant corn at the very beginning of the season it is gonna be sad corn i'll actually take these star grapes and put it in here because i'll make high quality stuff hello kitty have you scared anybody off no crows interesting all right so happy chickadees and only one egg today because they are not going to be quite as happy because they're eating outside. But that's all good. So we're going to get the flies buzzing. We're going to get some more iron going here. I may still go ahead and upgrade my axe. The one downside is that, and I ran into this last time I tried this, is that if I have a good opening with the weather for it, Inevitably, I'll be like, screw it, forget it. I'm just going to drop this off now, and then the next opportunity I have to actually upgrade my watering can will be taken away. That already happened once last season, so I really need to be patient and just wait for rain. So here's hot peppers. We'll get a few more. I need to refill the watering can. But as we sell crops, as we grow crops, our farming skill is going to increase, thankfully. Our kitty knows what to do and just ran through the crops like a boss. And is now grooming herself. And is now meowing. That is Game Cat, which some of you want to know. Is that Game Cat or Real Life Cat? Not Real Life Cat. I don't think Real Life Cat ran out. Although she has shown a tendency, even after being spayed, to like running out of the house. Which is not awesome. But... You know what, I haven't had to rescue her from the forest behind my house recently. So that is a plus. And yes, she is uh, the derpiest climber I've ever seen. She will climb up high in trees and then be like, oh, fall down. Not just I'm stuck, but actually just fall. This is not smart. Yeah. Cat meowing like I'm talking about her. That's right. Okie dokie. So almost 10 o'clock already. We can probably knock out five more floors of the cave here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. A little more watering can. We are almost there. So very close. Thought for sure we'd have hops today. Look at how low my energy is. <laughs> Good God. We'll have to uh, eat some salmon berries just right now just to make this work. All right, now do I have any spare copper? Uh, it looks like I do. Let's make some bombs. Even just little bombs. That'll do. Because we got plenty of coal left over. All right, let's go ahead and put the jam in here. Anything else we want to sell right away? We actually... I could sell the crystal fruit or I could hold on to it. I think I'll just sell it. It's not super high quality. Frozen tears, I feel like we're going to need those for something. I can't exactly remember what though. So we'll do the geode and all that stuff. It's things we have not done in a while. We'll work our way up to the caves. We do want to level up foraging one more time. But you can level up foraging in the caves as well. So... Let's get that going. So you're back here. Let's let's look at our community center here. Do do crafts, fish tank, broiler room, blacksmith's bundle, geologist bundle. So we need a frozen tier for this. All right. So we'll put one of you in there. Take you out. Keep the gold. Uh, one more fine quartz, never hurt anybody. More iron ore, because we're going to need it. Alright. Oh, we can actually do three. Nice. Alright, so quartz up here. 
Frozen Tears getting sold. Cherry Bomb's going back up there. Fishing Rod we don't need right now. Axe we probably don't need right now. Just trying to clear up a little bit of inventory space. So, iron. And let's go this way and hope we don't get uh, our video wrecked by a bunch of stutter lag. And we're going to just put you... Well, I can even take the winter root and just put it a little further inside. Technically, I could have taken that other plant. Oh, more iron. Let's get that out of here. And more bombs. We're going to try and explode our way Bomberman style down today. So now we're at 15 iron ore, feeling a lot better about that situation. Fifth, if you will. I do need to get some more hay for my uh, chickens. I do need to investigate these wormies. Got a library book. Nice. So we can go to the library and check it out. Wow. Look, first off, we got two spice berries because of our perk. Which, uh, I, in case you missed it last time, foraging level two, double harvest. Pretty sure we can get something similar from mining. So there you are. Let's see. Yeah, I know a lot of people living here. Do you like spice berries? Do you like salmon berries? I don't know. I don't care about you enough to uh, give you that kind of gift. So let's go down here. We'll pass by Mayor Louie, who we haven't talked to in a while. If you want Marnie to like you, give her a pumpkin pie. It's her favorite. You give her the pumpkin pie every night. Okay, that may not be 100% true, but only because he's old. Which I'm not much of one to talk about advances in age. All right. There's a book missing here. There's not a book missing here. How deep do the mines go? This question has been pondered by Stardew Valley explorers over the years. The truth is no one really knows, or at least they aren't telling anyone. Fortunately, many of those adventure deep in the mines never return. However, there have been a few bold adventurers who have traveled deep into the mines and have resurfaced with interesting ports. Apparently, there are three distinct areas in the mine, each with unique monsters and treasures. Some adventurers speak of gigantic underground lakes and strange creatures, but none of these claims have been proven. Well, I think I know what we're going to find out here. How far does the rabbit hole go? Said I really want hop soon because I want to fix that situation. We do need to go to Clint and we need to see if we can get some new things here. So upgrade tools, watering can, 2005, ooh, five copper bars. Need to make sure we're okay on the copper bar situation. That'd make me really sad if we can't actually do that. Oh, that's new. Uh, that's coal. And that's new. Yay! What do we got? Fairy stone and ocean stone. And another frozen tier, which we can just sell later. I could sell it now, but we may be finding more when we go back splunking anyways. Archaeology office is still open for business, so let's donate more fancy rocks. More fancy rocks. Alright. So we're good on frozen tiers. We've already donated one. No grabby. So we need to get deep down enough into the mines. Oh, you're going to work. Hello. It's a little less pollen in the summer. My nose is really happy. Cool. Why don't you get it pierced or something? Oh man, I'd love to get my nose pierced. That made me so punk rock. All right. I am not funny. I should just stop trying. Okay. Up to the mines we go. Once again, we're going Bomberman style. Bombs on point one. We got a lot of bat wings. Anything else we need to grab from this chest before we continue? Definitely drop you off. We may need these. We may need this food in emergency. In fact. My intention is not to have to dig as much, but I do need to make sure that my copper supply is not totally off. I need five bars. All right. Uh, 60. And 61, look at this. Right away, all the iron, and we immediately get the exit. A little broken glasses. 
Any other good places to bomb? This seems like a decent place to bomb. Ha ha ha! No geodes. That's too bad. Alright, next floor. Now here's more interesting mining music. Jade, which we have seen before. Got lots of little hoppy dudes down here. Hello, hello, hello. Please don't kill me. Okay, so I got another place where you can dig down. More quartz, more iron. Not the best bomb places I've ever seen. Frozen geodes, awesome. This one's good enough. Alright. This one's also good enough. Okay. We just made the underground cavern goblins angry. They're sending bats at us. Run! run. Alright. Let's get this slime. That's a double hit. Nice. Okay, so one dead slime. A few crates. Not doing so bad. Don't know why I'm breaking all this beautiful glass structure. It's the Zelda syndrome, I guess. It just seems like the right thing to do. Okay, so we have an exit already. It doesn't seem like it's the most exciting floor. And since we already have an exit... Okay, this is decent. Not as compacted as I'd like, but... We're gonna do it anyway. Okay, a little bit of iron, no geodes. Oh well, next floor. There we go. This is what I like to see. Good. Except for getting hit twice by a ghost. Why are you not coming at me? Here we go. So we knock them back so far, we just gotta keep it coming. We'll actually activate the back here, I guess. Whoa! Critical hit, my friend. Alright. So we are one floor away from exiting, so we can be a little liberal here. Partially doing this to try and save some of the energy too. So there's hard work, which is going to be important later. More geodes, which is very important now. Let's see what's on the other side, since we are pretty good both on time and stature. Stature probably makes no sense in this context, but it's the word that came to mind. All right. Two, twenty, twenty-four. 24, 24, double winter route. Even better. More bombs. More bombs. Well, if we ever needed stone, we don't now. We will need stone. Wood's always going to be a little bit more of a finite resource, but we do need stone, so that's not bad. Seven o'clock. Let's see if we can find anything interesting on this floor. Answer is probably no, but if we get a good bombing opportunity, we're going to take it. And we didn't. All right. Not going to waste my time, just going to head back up. All right. Floor zero. Mine carts. Out of order. That's too bad. All right, so we got Jade. Did we get anything else that's like new? We got another lead club. We can actually sell, not like that. Here, we can sell some of the stuff now. Uh, we'll just keep the hardwood in there. We're gonna take it back later. So eight o'clock, they're still open. Buy the special sword you gave me. 300, 450. 100, one solar essence, few slimes. Good. 
cash money, right? So we can bust open those geodes and do some stuff around town. I still would like to get uh, increased foraging as soon as I can. But I've got to go, like I said previously, i got to go around town and really try and forge some more relationships. And skipping out on people's birthdays is exactly how to do it. You know, I wasn't invited to the party anyway. So I'm just farmer chick. What'd Haley say? You're so boring. You only work with plants. Boring. Are these mushrooms boring? Don't answer that question. Just have our own time at the farm. Like I said, I really want to upgrade my axe too, but... So I'll just smelt some more iron. So again, I need to double check and see how many copper bars I have. Six, that's good enough. Some honey. What are we selling? All the things. Even the spice berries. Alright. Jade gone. Frozen tear gone. Bat wings we're keeping. Star quartz we don't need. Not terrible. Everything looks like it's been watered. It seems like a pretty good time to at least do a little bit of inventory cleanup in here if necessary. We got some summer seeds and some spring seeds. Those aren't going to do us a whole lot of good right now. Uh, do have a dog who, despite my best attempts previously, is still like trying to grab my attention all the time. Who knows? Let's go to bed. Damn, that's a lot of money. But then again, this is foraging. This is why we went for the mushroom place. That adds a lot there. Actually, not a lot from farming, but still we get farming money for our jellies and for our mayo and other things. Uh, quartz, jade ended up being our most valuable thing. Cool. The ninth day of summer. The rooster crows. It's a new day with new music. Welcome. Tomorrow it's going to be a beautiful sunny day. We'll never get to upgrade that watering can, will we? And the spirits are going to shower everyone with good fortune. Ew. I mean, oh, great. Um, what else do we got? Oh, dear Fiona, I read an article about you in the local paper. I'm so impressed with your progress on the farm. Keep it up, and dear old dad might be retiring in a few for an island luxury bungalow. After all, love dad. Just stupid parents always just trying to swoop in and take their kids' stuff. All right, so you guys are not outside yet. Guess y'all would rather hang out here where the food is and not lay any eggs? Okay, I, well, I can afford to buy some more grass starter. There we go. We could always just let them run around. I mean, it's not like they'll get lost. I could make a definitely make a bigger enclosure too, but see, here they go. They're going to eat some. They're going to eat over here, and they're going to be super happy. All right, more peppers. Did we decided we needed hot peppers? That's a, that's a gold one. We are not going to give this one away this time. Okay, summer crop. So we do need to hold on to one of each of those. But these summer crops all give such good money. It's pretty nice. Okay, let's see what we got over here. Still no... Um, whatchamacallit. Still no hops yet. May have just randomly watered the other hops too. Now the only ones that I cannot walk through here are the ones on trellises. So I'm not harming the crops by walking on them here. And if you think about it from real life, for any of you who have ever done any farming like this, you can actually walk over where you planted and avoid stepping on stuff. Even if it doesn't look like it here, we can just we can just pretend it is just a video game. So those blueberries are close. And they are going to, once we get those blueberries online, they're going to skyrocket our profits in ways that corn can only dream. Which is why I only bought nine corn. It would have been good for me to buy some more corn, if only to try and get some more star corn. Maybe I should have done that instead of the melons, but. 
We can shoot for it anyway. I mean, it's not like we're going to get uh, the greenhouse opened up. Because we didn't get star radishes. And the greenhouse is really only relevant in winter. Greenhouse, what it does is it lets you uh, grow... Okay, well, are you going to eat those plants now? I hope not. Are you going to chicken poop? Okay, if it, if it actually like eats a plant, you only eat grass. You don't like what I planted over there, right? Right, little chickadee? Or do you want to be watered on? Did you just want a bath? Okay, now you're just now your sprite's just spazzing out. That's great. Alright. I could buy some more chickens. If I can catch Marnie on a Tuesday. Which is about like uh, winning the Olympics at this rate. Alright. More water in the can. Don't need to replant as much stuff here. I'm not gonna make her a pumpkin pie. Oh, look at that, she has a store and she just walked away from it. Great, so we're not buying chickens on a Tuesday. We knew that was probably not happening anyway, which is exactly why I said that. But still, it's a little frustrating. All right, so hello there, Fiona. I feel lazy today. I wonder when you're going to be patched in as a another romancing candidate. I'm tutoring Vincent and Jazz. I want to make a difference in someone's life. Oh, okay. So we can at least go up here for... Uh, hello, you're welcome to Jojo Mart because we love you. Okay. Uh, help wanted. A frozen tear to rub on my sore ear. Please bring as soon as possible. Oh, we may get one today. We got people standing around here. I don't normally do this. Okay, we do want to keep one hot pepper for potentially the spring fair. So we'll do that. And eight for the sap, why not? We got more geodes to bust open. We don't need to buy too many more seeds unless I want to buy some spangles. How are you doing? The air is so thick and nauseous with honey nectar in summer. I almost feel dizzy. Oh, okay. That's exciting. All right, so everyone's just walking over here. The building on the farm, just ask. So if we want to do something in there, they're all meeting for like their little cult meeting where they do exercise. Everything in this game reminds me of an episode of the IT Crowd. It shows that I haven't watched new television in a very long time. Right, we, I guess we don't technically need two hot peppers, but that's what we got. All right, Clint, how can you make me feel lucky today? Five iron, not awful. I think that's new. Esperite, some copper, and I think that's new as well. Opal, Gunther can tell you about Esperite. Oh, it's Final Fantasy VI and we're gonna summon some Espers and it's gonna be fun and as long as it's not like Final Fantasy VII or VIII where it takes like 10 minutes. Oh, where's Penny? It's 11.50, Penny is off the clock. Miss Penny says I have to read this book before you can go. Where's... What? Giggle? Hi. Oh, good. She's warming up to me. Jazz, how are we doing? Is that one heart or two hearts? Probably just one heart. No hearts. Okay. So Miss Penny's just AWOL. That's fine. The kids are being good students. When I was a teacher, sometimes my students were at their best where they knew that I was having to sub for some reason. And what do we get for this? Probably, oh good, we get two items here, a singing stone and a large futon bear. My house is tiny and I need to upgrade that before we can really get to doing that. So, coastline then caves, sounds decent. We're gonna save the hot pepper for the uh, fall fair. So there's Dick Face again. We played football, man. A train is passing through Stardew Valley. And we're going to miss it. Because I went the wrong way. Maybe it'll drop something interesting, but probably should be there just to see. Mud book. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Found a lost book. The library's collection has increased. Now, another reason we want to go spelunking from time to time is just so that we can possibly get the fourth 
uh, little ancient dwarf scroll because once we get that we can communicate with another character that we haven't met yet because we have not upgraded our pickaxe further here but we really need to upgrade our watering can we really need to upgrade our axe and Lee sound of farm animals is great isn't it it is in fact let me see if I can find uh, angel tear so not angel tear frozen tear so you can pay me way above market value I don't know what you did to your ear but I'm here to help sure and then as I can just get some gifts that I can actually give to people or get like some more animals that I can give to people I can maybe learn a little bit more about the town but for now the the call of the caves is just too strong Let's go and put some of our superfluous items up here. So, futon, coral, coal, that's a good clam. It's a good oyster. We're actually okay with the stone. Okay with the iron ore. Those peppers are probably not necessary, but we'll keep them in inventory. All right. Let's do this. Can we knock out a few, can we knock out enough floors to get to floor 70? Oh yeah, it's one way to do it. We needed a really fast floor to start with. Oh good, we actually got another fast floor. And more importantly, we got a uh, another item here. So we may or may not get a frozen tier. I expect that we will, but it's not 100% in the cards. And we got Aquamarine. Have we donated one yet? Yep. We actually hit the bat from behind. Once again, why I don't like the little stabby dagger. So a little bit of coal. Nothing great down here. Let's just take the next floor. Not finding as many bomb opportunities as last time, but I also don't have as many bombs. So no native frozen tears just sitting out. A lot of iron. Right, I do like that we can farm winter roots out of you guys, so that's a positive. Let's see here, more quartz. That's not a great place to go, kaboom, either. gone from I have a zillion bombs to I don't have a zillion bombs. Good enough, I guess. Oh, that was that was, that was not what I meant to do. So we just wasted one, and all for just some stone and one iron. Alright, we got one bomb left. Well, at least that frees up some inventory space. Where is the ladder over here? Here we go. 67... Is this area overrun by monsters, or do we just have cool cave music? I think we just have cool cave music. After that last time where we had cool town music for so long, so there's our frozen tier. Hopefully not our demise. There's our next exit. Surrounded by another exit. Is this just a rock? No, amethyst. Well, that amethyst looks different than I remember it. Once again, gotta love that the developer, the one developer, is working so hard to continue updating this game. Well, it's it's great to see people whose success is so well deserved because they work so hard at what they do. It's a valuable life lesson that yes, sometimes that hard road, if you stick with it, and you have a really good idea, and you know it's a really good idea, it can succeed. There's not enough hope or optimism in the world right now. And I just found another good place to bomb! And we just walked by another frozen tier, so we'll fix that in a second. Let's go kaboom first. Alright, lots of iron, not much else. I was hoping for a geode or two. So we got a little bouncy, we got a little bouncy bounce over here. 
bats. I think we just got one more area, or one more wing to explore. 68. So we're decent on time. Whoa. Lots of coal and lots of little guys going crazy. These guys can hit deceptively hard. Alright, can we get to 70? I think the next theme of lore starts at 80. And that's where things start to get really serious time. Of course, this would be like the perfect place to have bombs. But we don't have the resources that we need. So hopefully this means we don't have to dig. Because I don't have a very high stamina bar right now. Alright. We'll see if we can hack and slash our way out of here. How did I not get slimed there? How did I not get slimed there? Energy low? Staircase magically appearing at just the right time. More geodes. It's all very good run today. So we should be able to dig over here to this iron just so we can have it. And we'll see if we can catch Lee at the bar. Sounds like a plan. And we got a master slingshot. Woo. Alright. Sorry, just not as thrilled by the slingshot weaponry here. Alright, let's go to the bar real quick and see if we can give a frozen tear here now to a uh, Lee girl. And if I can catch her at her house, I might be able to unlock a fun story sequence. Because Lee is... I don't know. I find the characters that have moved in from out of town instead of being raised here probably the more interesting of them. So that would be Lee. That would be Elliot. As much as I dog on them. Sam and Vincent and Jody have a very interesting dynamic as well. I think I've gone into why previously she's not here. So you want to upgrade your tools? You'll have to get the correct ore. Okay, so she's not going to be up now, which means we pay a visit tomorrow with one frozen tier. So let's go back before we get too late. We already have low enough energy as is. I don't want to get penalized further by being out late. So I guess tomorrow is the day where we have hops. Okay, we've watered sufficiently. Maybe one day... We can get this. So Amethyst, two Frozen Geodes, two Aquamarines, more Winter Roots. Can't actually sell that here. One Star Frozen here. Alright. Probably have enough Bat Wings now. Cool. Looking pretty good for our current situation. Could even probably make a few more Bee Houses. Let's see here. But we need wood and... Oh man, I need to be saving the maple syrup that I get. Alright, we'll remember that for next time. So hopefully... Let's see here. All the things that I'm going to forget by the next time I make a video. I need to buy more animals. I need to uh, get some more wood so I can improve my business. Uh, we got a frozen tier. Is this where the rest of the winter roots are going? Uh, yeah, that seems all right. Hmm. Guess we'll get stone out of our inventory. Coal will be okay out of our inventory, but it's getting late, so we're going to go ahead and call this an episode. This is Asher playing more Stardew Valley. Fiona's having a good time, at least it seems like it. Uh, haven't done so much in the town the past week or so of gameplay, but it'll my time will free up a bit once I'm able to upgrade my watering can. Whenever that happens. So, nighty night, Fiona. 11 o'clock is a decent time to go to bed. So, 44 gold for farming for one hot pepper. Very exciting. But mining ended up turning up a little bit of a profit, which is good. And look at this. One frozen tier 75 versus 225 and a relationship boost. I will definitely take that. So, that's it for now. This is Asher. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And maybe the rain will come next time. Take care.